Up here, I'm declaring three different variables. I have a equals to true, b equals false, and c is 5. So a and b are booleans, c is a number. Here, we're using the if statement. So the if statement, you're going to start with the keyword if followed by a Boolean expression. So a Boolean expression could be a Boolean variable, or it could be a combination of things that returns a Boolean value. Here we have a Boolean variable, a equals to true. So we're saying if a is true, then print a is true. So it's going to print a is true. But here we're saying if b is true, then print b is true. In this case, b is false. So this statement here is not going to be printed. Basically, I'm using the print statement, but instead of the print statement, you can add whatever number of things inside, in between the then and the end. You can have a hundred different statements to do all kinds of things in here as you wish. But we're going to use the print statement just to keep things simple, just to show you that the if statement is true, then it's going to go inside here and it's going to execute whatever is inside between the then and the end. Let's now run tests and take a look. Before we do that, let's open up the output window, view output, and now let's go and run. You can see that it only printed A is true because A is true, so it goes inside here. But since B is false, it's going to skip over. So from here, it's not going to do anything between the then and the end. It's just going to skip to the end. And that's why this statement here was not printed. In our next example here, we have a Boolean expression. So we're saying if A is true, we know A is true, and C equals to 5. So C equals to 5 is also true because C is 5. So we have true and true means that it's true, which means it's going to execute whatever is inside here. In this case, we're going to print Boolean expression is true. Let's run and take a look. And there it is. Boolean expression is true. In this next example here, we have the if else statement. So we say if b is true, then do this. Else means if b is false, then do this. So if b is true, we're printing b is true. If b is false, we're printing b is false. In this case, we know b is false. Let's run and take a look. And there it is. It printed b is false. So when it checks if b is true, B is false, it's going to skip whatever is inside here, it's going to jump to here, and then it's going to do whatever is inside the else statement. Here we're using the else if statement. So we have the if statement, if B is true, then print B is true. In this case, B is false, so it's going to go to the next statement here, which is the else if statement. So it says else if, not A, A is true, so not A is false. So we know it's going to skip this because false and anything else is going to be false. In this case, C equals 5 is true, but it does not matter because with the N operator, only one of the two factors are false, then the result is going to be false. So it's going to skip this, whatever is inside here, and it's going to jump to the else statement. It's going to print Boolean expressions are all false. And there you see it. It says Boolean expressions are all false. Here you can see I'm using a single else if statement here, but you can literally insert as many else if statements in here as you wish. For example, if I'm going to copy this and I want to insert another else if statement, I'm just going to paste it in here. Or I can paste another one in here. Just make sure the condition is something new, something different. So for example, um, I'm going to get rid of one of these, so I'm just going to use two. And here I'm going to say if else if c is 5, we're just going to print c is 5. So let's take a look at how this thing is going to work. It's first going to check is b true, b is not true, so it's going to skip to, the, to here. It's going to check not a and c equals 5. So not A is going to be false, so it's going to skip this one. It's going to go to this one. C is 5, so it's going to print out this statement here. Once it has found a true statement, in this case, this statement here is true, it's going to do whatever is in between here, and it's going to jump all the way to the end here. So this else statement will not be executed. Let's take a look. C is 5, as we have expected. B is not true, so skip this. 
not a is false, it skips this, but c is 5. So this statement here is true. It printed c is 5. And it jumped all the way to the end. So the else statement is never executed.